Welcome, and thanks for tuning in to our poster entitled A Spiking Neuron Model of Inferential Decision-Making, Urgency, Uncertainty, and the Speed Accuracy Trade-Off. Decision-making is a complex process that involves numerous brain areas and cognitive operations. While neuroscience and cognitive science have studied these areas and processes in isolation, unifying models are needed to understand decision-making holistically. Our goal is to build an anatomically accurate spiking neuron model that performs a decision-making task and reproduces human behavioral data. We focus on probabilistic multi-attribute decision-making, in which an individual must assess the utility of potential actions by gathering information from multiple sources over time. In our task, a participant is asked to choose between two options, A and B, and information is delivered sequentially via cues, each of which has a particular weight. For each cue, the participant sees the values of option A and B and recalls the cue's weight from pre-trial instructions. They then choose to select A, select B, or request more information. The task ends when a selection is made, with the correct answer being the option with the greatest sum of weighted values across all cues. To model this task, we created a neural network whose organization reflects the anatomy of brain areas involved in decision making. These include orbitofrontal cortex, dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, right inferior frontal cortex, presupplementary motor area, and the basal ganglia. Each population contains 1,000 spiking leaky integrate and fire neurons, whose activity represents dynamic decision variables. To specify these variables and their functional transformations, we drew from two cognitive theories of decision making, the drift diffusion model and the urgency gating hypothesis. Each neural connection in our model is responsible for performing a particular cognitive operation. The value population represents the value and weight of the current cue, multiplies them, and returns the result. The evidence population maintains an estimate of the accumulated evidence for each option using recurrent connections. The hold population monitors uncertainty and urgency, which are estimated from the current evidence and the elapsed time. When a dynamic threshold is crossed, hold releases inhibition on the gate population, and information flows from evidence through gate to the decision population. Winner-take-all competition within the decision network then selects the option with the greatest evidence and outputs the result. The model has two free parameters. The decision threshold T determines how much evidence is required before a decision, and the urgency parameter R determines how quickly the dynamic threshold shrinks. We use the neural engineering framework to instantiate these functions in neural connection weights. To simulate a decision-making agent with the proposed model, we choose values for T and R build the network, and have the agent perform our task. As cues are presented and evidence accumulates, neurons in PFC become active, encoding the total utility for options A and B, red versus blue lines. Activity in IFC declines as the difference in evidence increases and as time passes, i.e. as uncertainty shrinks and urgency grows, black line. When IFC activity reaches zero, disinhibition of PSMA opens the gate and the basal ganglia network selects the best option, dotted line. In this trial, the agent made the correct selection after 2.4 seconds. In this trial, we created an impatient agent with low threshold and high urgency. Despite ambiguous evidence, the agent's decision threshold is crossed after 3.4 seconds when it chooses option B. However, the remaining evidence favors option A, making this choice ultimately incorrect. In this trial, we created a patient agent with high threshold and low urgency. Evidence is again ambiguous, and the agent's threshold is never crossed. We force a decision at the end of the trial by inhibiting the hold at 5.8 seconds. By this point, accumulated noise has led to a poor estimate of the total evidence, as can be seen by comparing the solid blue line with the dashed blue line, which represents the externally calculated ground truth of total evidence. This drift frequently causes decision errors, although here the agent guesses correctly. Next, we looked at differences between individual model agents. We generated a population of agents with various urgencies and thresholds, then had each agent perform 48 trials. We recorded their reaction times and accuracies, and compared the results with human data. What we found is that individual agents reproduced the behavior of individual participants from the study. For instance, a fast agent chose after two to three cues with low accuracy, whereas a slow agent chose after five to six cues with higher accuracy. This suggests that human behavioral variants may be explained by differences in urgency and threshold. 
Finally, we compared the accuracies of our agents to humans performing this task. For both humans and agents, we saw that accuracy correlates with decision time. This is exactly what we expect when individuals face a trade-off between speed and accuracy during decision making. This suggests that urgency and threshold also determine preferences for speed versus accuracy. In conclusion, our anatomically and functionally plausible neural model reproduces human behavioral data. Our results support the hypothesis that the neural systems which monitor urgency and uncertainty flexibly control decision-making. Thank you.